The devs of Coral Island just dropped some more news about their game in their developer update of 2021. Let's take a look at all the features we'll be able to experience in the alpha of the game when it releases on July 31st. Let's take a look. Hello there. I'm Mr. Cobblewobbles, this is Alfred, and today the devs of Coral Island dropped a bunch of information about the upcoming alpha of the game with a developer update, so as per usual, let's break it down. They start out their post with some sad news, but also some understandable news. The contents of the alpha will not fully be what they envisioned. They're behind in areas, but they're also ahead in other areas. The pandemic has been really bad in Indonesia lately, and it put a strain on the production of the game as several of their team members got infected with COVID. Regardless, the alpha will still launch at the 31st of July, just with a little less content in it than what was usually planned. And I honestly don't really mind because it's only the alpha of the game. I didn't really need a lot of content in the alpha of the game. And I also totally understand the position that the team is in right now. Like this pandemic forks everyone over at some point. And I just really hope that all the team members are okay. And if they are still sick, that they can make a speedy recovery. And you know what? I'll enjoy your alpha no matter what. Even if it's just the giant chicken that y'all posted on your Twitter. <laughs> like if it's just that. I'll still, I'll still enjoy it. <laughs> so take it easy. Take your time. We like, we're just, we're just grateful that we get to be part of your journey. And so please, please, please take care of yourselves. Get better soon. And thank you for, for still making the alpha like release in July. That's insane during the situation you're in. So respect. So they made a nice cute little graph for the alpha content. It's divided into three themes, general, interior, accessible, and um, NPC dialogue. So in the general area of this little graph, we got earth theme mining, diving zone 10 meters. So we'll be able to dive to the depth of 10 meters, probably maximum. Uh, there are blacksmith upgrades, lab upgrades available. Character customizer is in there. Uh, we we checked those out in the previous uh, dev update videos. If you want, you can check that out. Uh, 12 spring crops will be available. You'll only be able to play the spring season in this alpha which we already discussed, that's fine. If you keep playing, the season will loop, by the way, so you don't have to, like, the demo or, or the alpha doesn't just stop when you reach the end of spring. It'll just repeat the spring again. Um, and then the skill tree tier one will be available. Basic crafting, basic questing, basic museum, basic weather, basic decor mode, basic world music, and the basic UI. Everything that we expected from that is kind of in it, I think. Then we move over to interior and accessible. So what this means is the places that have interiors that will be accessible during the alpha or like the first alpha of the game. The general store will be accessible, as will the blacksmith, the carpenter, the basic museum, the lab, and Charles's house for some reason. It, for some reason, we can enter Charles's house, uh, but that's fine. I'm all good with that. That looks great. I want to go to all of these places, to be honest. So let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Then we got NPC dialogue. The initial alpha will release with like the heart level dialogues from level zero to level two. So nothing beyond that. Uh, any NPC that is not mentioned, like when I go through the list of NPCs, will not have like they, they will have unformatted and unedited dialogue. Uh, so don't expect too much from those characters, but the characters that are in here that got reformatted and edited are uh, Alice's uh, dialogue, Charles's dialogue, Luke's dialogue, Noah's dialogue, uh, Theo's, Anne's, Archie's, Betty, Connor's, uh, Dinda's, Erica's, and Jim's. So those those dialogues are reformatted and edited 
And then we also have reformatted dialogue, but unedited for uh, Ava, Lily, Macy, Yuri, Kenny, Suki, Scott, Surya, Raphael, Pablo, Zara, Ling, Sam, and Valentina. So the rest of them, the rest of the characters will not have any reformatted and un and like edited uh, dialogue options in the alpha of the game. And it'll just be like the zero to two heart level dialogue ratio. Right. We got there. We got there. And then it ends with see you on July 31st. And heck yeah, you bet your butt that I will be there July 31st. Dang it. Heck yeah. So to recap, they also put a little summary of like highlights of things that you will be doing during the first alpha uh, of the game. And we'll be able to play the game in English. It'll be the only available language for now. We've already confirmed it. There's more languages coming, so no worries. There's a bunch of languages coming to this game, but in alpha stat, like in alpha state, it'll just be English for now. Uh, so you'll be able to create your character with uh, basic customization, limited body types, hairstyles, and outfits, but we've been over that, and it already looks pretty good, uh, and they'll only expand on it in the future, which is freaking cool, and I already think it's, like, awesome, like, already. So there's that. Uh, so we will be able to play through the spring season, and if you get to the end of the spring season, it'll just be looped, so you'll just play spring all over again with like the things that you've gathered like in your playthrough we will experience basic weather sunny rainy and windy that's it more things are coming in the future obviously but those are the ones that are in the first alpha of the game we can decorate our house with basic furniture we can also plant the 12 spring crops we've already talked about it we can enter the blacksmith the carpenter museum lab charles's house those are all enterable is that a word enterable accessible that's probably a better way to put it but you can go inside of those things inside of those places so that's pretty cool uh we can upgrade our tools and seeds and i don't really know what they mean with upgrade our seeds but i'm sure that we'll find out we'll be able to craft basic items increase npc hearts to like well two <laughs> to unlock more dialogue with them, which we will definitely be doing. Um, we can dive the north, south, west, and east maps, like of the diving spots with like at 10 meters depth, which is pretty cool. We can mine 25 levels in the earth gate, which is pretty nice. We can obtain skills, but only tier one skills. We can do basic quests donate basics items to the museum and then there's like a few things that miss from the whole lineup that they said that would be in but due to the circumstances they couldn't put them in and that's the ranching system so sadly we cannot make an army of chickens to annoy my girlfriend with uh <laughs> Uh, we cannot purchase farm buildings yet, uh, which is sad, but hey, you know, freaking pandemic sucks. Um, heart event cutscenes are also not finished yet. Uh, some introduction cutscenes of some of the characters are also not finished yet and basic onboarding. So like these are things that would have been in the first alpha, but didn't make the cut because of, well, the, 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 the pandemic. Then they end the post really with uh, 10 things that we should do in the first alpha. And the first thing they say is that we have to be mentally and physically prepared to start over our game many, many times during the alpha because, well, as, like, things progress with the alpha, it'll get updates. We'll have to restart our saves. So what I'm saying is, and what they are saying is, don't get attached to your save file during the alpha because every time it will update, or almost every time it will update, you'll just lose your progress. That's how alphas work, usually. So don't be angry. Be prepared for that. You're going to lose your progress if you play the alpha of the game and you like play each like update like you'll lose your freaking progress. OK, so calm down. <laughs> uh, we will also be stumbling upon surprising and unexpected bugs like noodle hands, it says in the post. I don't know what 
noodle hands are, but it sounds very cursed, and I'm very looking forward to uh, experiencing that. What we also should do is report the bugs to them so that they can fix those bugs, which is actually, like, neat if you'll actually do that. I'll try to do that with, like, because I'll be streaming it if it's allowed. There's not really anything said about it, I think. So I hope I'll be able to stream it or at least record it for YouTube. And then like I can make a little compilation of all the bugs that I've seen and send it to the developers and then they can, you know, like fix it, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, waiting patiently while we do maintenance for the fixes, which you should definitely do. Like don't don't get salty because there's a bug and like it, it bugs you. <laughs> Right. Um, uh, like, don't get salty. Just wait. Be patient. They're trying to fix things, especially if you've told them about the bug. Sending uh, your feedback to them and suggestions to them is always appreciated. They've already said this throughout, like, even when the Kickstarter, like, campaign started, uh, they said, you know, give us your suggestions, your feedback. They are always looking in their feedback channel on their Discord. And I think it's really wonderful how they're doing that. Um, and some of the ideas they take and implement, some of the ideas they just, well, some of the ideas are also bad. So there's, there's that. <laughs> um, they also hid an Easter egg inside of the alpha. And I kind of want to, I kind of want to look for it now. I kind of want to find that freaking Easter egg. Dang it. Uh, we can explore the island and meet the residents, of course, which we should also do. We can listen to the music of the game while we're playing, which is very, very nice. Uh, share the experience with fellow alpha players. I, I'm thinking that that's about like in the discord sharing it with the other alpha people, uh, sharing your opinions and experiences and, and all that stuff. And most importantly, like the most important thing that we have to do during playing this alpha is have fun. We got to have fun. Okay. You, you there playing the alpha, you should have fun. So yeah, I'm a bit sad that there's not like a bug of the month. Uh, I always look forward to those, but due to the circumstances in which they have to produce this game, it's, it's more than understandable. Uh, it looks like we'll have lots to do anyways in the alpha, and I'm looking forward to it a lot. And I think I will be able to experience some of those bugs of the month's like or like new ones in the alpha and i think i'm gonna have a really good time experiencing those bugs if they're as hilarious as the ones that they've shown in previous dev updates i'll have fun with that i will be playing the alpha if we're allowed uh both on twitch and here on youtube probably first on twitch because i'll probably uh go live like the day itself uh that the alpha comes out and just like play it on stream if we're allowed to do that because I haven't read anything about it yet. Uh, so yeah, and then like the next day or a few days after it, I'll also make YouTube videos about it, of course. Um, so yeah, that was it for this developer update from Coral Island of June 2021. What are you most excited about to try in the alpha? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, subscribing liking, commenting, clicking that bell, feel free to watch another video, and see you later. Hoot hoot, mother forkers.